Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, in today's video, we are going to focus only on cryptocurrency. We are going to discuss uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum and Ripple. And our interest for today's analysis is going to be a mid to long term analysis. We are looking uh, for analysis of next six to two years terms so we can actually find major uh, trend and try to get in the right term and then try to get benefit of it or if you are interested in trading the stock market in trading bitcoin actively then it's also going to be at least you can find which way the major trend is and then you can actually uh, get into the trend and then come out and then get into the trend and come out if that is uh, that is your thing uh, so i think that we have completed and I, when i say i think uh, uh, that means what my analysis says it does not mean that momentarily I looked at something and I, I'm thinking something. I spent some time on cryptocurrency and I, uh, my analysis is telling me that we have only completed um, wave one, two, three, four uh, in, in, in cryptocurrency. And that wave uh, is going to be this labeling right over here, especially in Bitcoin. I'm not uh, going to say cryptocurrency in general because every uh, one of them is going through a different stage. Uh, so we have to look at in them in individually. So we have wave one right over here, I believe. I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one and two. Uh, this is a weekly time frame. And then we have wave three and wave four. Uh, so we, we, where did wave one started? I won't actually argue about it. We can actually see that wave one can actually start from over here uh, or over here somewhere. And this whole was a different uh, price in the structure. So I'm not expecting that wave one started all the way back somewhere in 2006. Now I'm expecting that wave one started somewhere around over here. Uh, that's what my analysis is telling me at least. So wave one and two, are the blue wave, and we have uh, extended wave three, uh, and then we have wave four. Either we are uh, we have completed it, or either we are very close to the completion of wave four. I'm going to analyze wave four in front of you. And then I think that we are going to go in wave five and our target for wave five is going to be around 400,000 US dollars. And it's, <laughs> it seems really um, amazing once we look at uh, the price target of uh, Bitcoin. Uh, right now it's trading around 20, uh, $20,000, uh, a little up and down. So the main concern is that uh, have we completed wave four or are we going to spend some more time in wave four? Uh, a lot of people are confused because we are seeing a generic uh, crash in the stock market uh, in, in the Dow Jones, S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100, and FTSE is falling, and, you know, Nifty India is falling, Pakistan's crash stock exchange is falling and if you try to look into other stock markets I think they are falling too. Um, but I think that right, cryptocurrency is going to work differently, it's not going to uh, get attached to the stock market crash and go down. The reason is because cryptocurrency is completely different technology. Uh, we are trying to uh, form solutions uh, that are completely uh, going to revolutionize the uh, the upcoming century. So you're talking about something completely different uh, as compared to what we already have. Uh, you know, talking about finance sector where the fees would be really minimum if you uh, are spending a lot of much money on paying fees for the finance sector you already probably know uh, so all of these things are getting revolutionized so there's very less chance i believe that uh, cryptocurrency is going downward and and for that regard next six months are going to be very very important next six months are going to be very very important ne six months to uh, uh, in around a year and in if you can see an impulsive price movement and that's what i'm expecting that we're going to see some impulsive price behavior in cryptocurrency that will definitely set it apart from stock market crash uh, so we are going to look into fourth wave structure i believe that we have completed the four wave structure which is a, a zigzag wave a and wave b and wave c in case we have not completed wave four uh, and this is going to be wave w and then we're going to create uh, an axe which will take the prices in this range and then it will come down in why Th that's what I said the next six months are going to be very very interested because if, if, if it can take this prices back beyond the new high in next six to um, 12 months that will be indication that we have completed this and then we are in an impulsive wave that will also uh, set uh, cryptocurrency apart from a stock market and uh, it remembers 
Elliot wave analysis is a reflection of what mass psychology is. It's not a prediction in that regard that they have to do that. Okay, this is the difference that you have to understand. Elliot wave analysis is a reflection of what mass psychology is doing. All right, it's not something that okay since th there is a theory that exists and now the the prices must fall or the mass psychology behavior must go down. It's other way around. It's it's like um, you can say that mass smart brain of human race what they're doing and what they're planning to do uh, that becomes visible on chart that's what Elliott wave analysis is this is what my understanding is and that's how I try to uh, uh, that's how I try to implement it and I do not write go in another way uh, other way around that or no this, this the, the masses of the world have to follow a bookish a view of the market this is this is not how I look at the market. So I believe that we are uh, close to the completion of wave W within wave four or wave four itself. Next six months to uh, twelve months are going to be very interesting uh, increase of cryptocurrency, uh, and I think that the target for cryptocurrency, uh, especially Bitcoin, is going to be around four hundred thousand dollars when it goes up. So the point here is why I'm discussing today's analysis. If wave four is complete, then this is an excellent, excellent entry point for Bitcoin. That's the whole reason of me uh, trying to uh, present a f uh, present uh, an, anal an, an analysis for the Elliott wave uh, using Elliott wave analysis for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and um, Ripple. So let's have a look on a f on a um, hourly time frame. Out of 15 minute time frame um, on last weekend a um, couple of days ago I gave an indication that there is a good possibility that we have uh, jumped up and it looks to me that this uh, jump happened for a reason meaning that we have probably created a bottom I already indicated that we can see right now that it actually was a smaller wave 1 and a smaller wave 2 uh, and uh, we have also basically an impulsive and a corrective behavior. We have an impulsive behavior and A, B and C which is a flat correction giving an indication that right now on an hourly time frame at least the accumulation uh, pattern is uh, happening very nicely right over here too. And I'm expecting the price of Bitcoin will go up from over here. Uh, so let's have a look at Ethereum and see where the Ethereum are. Labeling for Ethereum is a little different because uh, this price behavior that we have seen went beyond uh, this particular indication so that is giving an indication that wave did not end over here in case ended over here so right now we are considering this as wave 1 right over here and this as wave 2 the red one right over here and we are considering this as wave 3 and then A, B and C uh, once again wave 4 either we have completed wave 4 or we are going to see uh, this is W and then we are going to see price jump up in X and come down in Y. Once again, I believe it looks to me as, as per my analysis uh, that this is a very, very nice point for both alternating counts that price is expected to go in this area. We look at the personality of the wave structure and then you will also be able to see whether it's an impulsive or whether it's an X. Uh, and the target, potential target for Ethereum is 60,000 US dollars and it's not I'm not joking no no I'm not joking I know probably you are laughing and I'm not joking that's the nature of the stock uh, that's the nature of the cryptocurrency right so I wanted to share Ethereum the whole reason that I was trying to, to uh, forecast a ripple is this the pattern that we are seeing is completely completely different uh, from uh, Bitcoin and from Ethereum Bitcoin and Ethereum are an indication that there is a high probability of fifth wave uh, and that that fourth wave is complete and then we are going to see prices going upward. Ripple is indication that no, uh, it is yet not ready. The price is going to go up definitely but it's not ready to go or fly up off the shelf and go to the moon as, as the, the community says. Uh, here is our, how my understanding of the price labeling is that we have completed a zigzag downward from the top right over here all the way to over here so I'm calling it as a W the first zigzag uh, we have a second zigzag or double zigzag that is X right over here so we can actually definitely use that and I'm calling this particular drop that we have seen from this top 
as a y. Within y, we have on a daily time frame, we can zoom in and we can see what's happening. Within y, we have completed a five wave structure, which is the leading diagonal, looks to me at least. Uh, and then pr it probably completed over here. And uh, this is wave A and a wave B, which is a single or zigzag or a double zigzag. And then we are expected to complete a uh, ending diagonal. We have completed wave one right over here, two, and wave two. This is a double zigzag for wave three. And I'm expecting that prices are going to go up. It can actually shoot up a little deeper, uh, trying to make it a, um, a diverging ending diagonal. It's not necessary that we'll see prices ending right over here. If you can see a deep price movement in Ripple, but I'm expecting that it should uh, theoretically not go beyond it. It's, this area is going to be quite good resistance for Ripple, which seems around 90 cents. Uh, right now, it's trading at the 32 cents. So I'm expecting that we are going to see uh, Ripple uh, trade around this area in next about six months to a year. And then one final leg will go down, will bring it down. Uh, to the completion of wave 5 here in in Ripple that will be completing the larger uh, the tra larger wave that com started all the way right over here and that would be actually wave W and X and Y that will be good 6-7 years of data starting from all the way over top over here uh, and this is what I'm looking in Ripple I tried to I wanted to uh, bring Ripple, Ripple uh, analysis and what what will g give that I'm wrong in my analysis of Ripple? If prices actually can go beyond rip, uh, 1.97, that will be an indication that uh, we have already completed a correction right over here. We'll have to re-label uh, the the whole move starting from the top to bottom, and then we we'll can actually go long on Ripple when prices go beyond uh, this area. These are two bullish and one bearish outlook. Actually, all of three uh, three are are bullish. Uh, in the in next six months to a year, I thought I wanted to give it to you guys so you can actually see where these things are standing. Wish you good luck with your trading. If you did like my content, please press that thumbs up button. And if you want to subscribe, that will be really appreciated as well. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.